I have a problem with most of the coverage about GPT-5 right now, which is that people are showing off GPT-5's greater capabilities compared to previous models by demonstrating it with prompts that 99% of people are not actually going to use. The reason this is a bad thing is because it adds fuel to the fire of people who are not working in tech thinking to themselves, yeah, this just isn't for me. Trust me, it is for you. You should still absolutely care about the release of GPT-5. And there's two main reasons. The first reason is that yes, there is a reason that most of the coverage around GPT-5 has been around really complex prompts that are really only relevant for people who are trying to like do big things, coding apps, starting businesses. The difference between GPT-5 and the last model in solving those kinds of big problems is significant. Whereas the difference between GPT-5 and the last model in solving problems like where should I go for dinner tonight? Relatively the same. This is important for everyday people because it should break open your brain a little bit about what you are capable of doing in your life. There is no difference between me or you or anybody else who now wants to start an app because we all have GPT-5. It's free. The second reason why absolutely everyone should care about GPT-5 comes down to super intelligence. You might not feel it when you're talking to ChatGPT now, but it is much smarter than previous versions. And that increase in intelligence truly gets us one step closer to an artificial super intelligence. An artificial super intelligence by definition is smarter than the smartest human who has ever lived and can improve upon itself. And when the artificial super intelligence is here, not if, when, that will impact absolutely everybody.